Welcome to a breaking news episode of SpaceX in the News. My name's Kevin, and this is a Starhopper exclusive segment. So just a few hours ago, SpaceX conducted the second static fire test for Starhopper, the prototype vehicle for Starship, which is the rocket that may one day take us to Mars. This static fire event involved tethering the vehicle down to the launch pad and igniting its single Raptor engine for just a few seconds. This test was a prerequisite before Hopper's premier flight, a hover 20 meters above ground level. Now this first flight was supposed to be scheduled for Wednesday or Thursday evening, pending a good burn test of its engine. However, that may or may no longer be the case because Starhopper static test seemed anything but nominal. Soon after the engine ignited and cut off, it looked as if Starhopper was burning from the inside out. And within just seconds after the test began, Chris B tweeted that it was an off nominal event and that safing is in program or progress, I'm not really sure what he meant by that, but safing is an insulator for a firewall. Now it's not currently known for certain what happened, but you can see there are two possible fires coming out of the rocket, one at the bottom near the engine and one at the intake port near the top. Again, this may not be the case. It could just be an illusion from the darkness and thick Texas air or the reflection of Starhopper's skin. But what was definitely not a mirage was the second fire that ignited when SpaceX tried to douse the rocket with water. The rumor currently circulating is that a bunch of methane ended up on the pad during or following the test. And when it came in contact with the water, it just made everything worse. However, the fires were soon put out and it looks as if Hopper is pretty well unscathed, at least from the outside. And hopefully that's the case with the engine itself. Elon or SpaceX has yet to release a statement concerning the incident, which is understandable considering it just happened. Elon did do a live presentation for Neuralink that began just 45 minutes after Hopper's test, and his eyes did seem a little glossy, like he may have just received sad news, or maybe he just met up with Joe Rogan again, but he didn't mention anything about Hopper while speaking. But I'll be gathering further information as it develops over the next couple days, and I'll be updating you on what I find in the next episode. Until that time, thank you so much for watching, and Godspeed. Big shout out and thank you to all my cloud licking patrons. If it wasn't for them, this show would not be what it is today. And if you enjoy watching these videos, please consider becoming a patron yourself. For as little as $1, you can get access to more cloud licking content. There's a link in the description. And hey, while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode, and give this video a like. God bless you.